So there's only one Walmart Supercenter on the entire Outer Banks. So today we're provisioning at a food line in Avon. Is that where we are? We are. Okay. Kenny Key. <laughs> Let's see how that adds up. Should be fine though. We don't need very much. The search for low carb burrito wraps <laughs> in a new grocery store. Since we have electricity tonight, we're going to try to do something in the instant pot, thinking pork wine or something like that. Who knows? What's your favorite instant pot meal that you eat in your van? Took about an hour. Took about an hour what? To go to food line. <laughs> I don't know if it did or not, did it? I don't know. I think it took maybe 30 Why minutes. Why wasn't timing us? Yeah. Why and of course I had to go, there's a Duck Donuts here on the Outer Banks. It's pretty famous. Is and it famous? It is. Pretty famous. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> it's kind of cool. You go in there. I should have taken a video of it. Uh, they go. You go in and you order your donut and uh, they make the donut to order. So it's just donut batter until you order it and then they put it in the fryer and then you get these donuts. So. That was a that was a good thing. It was kind of like cake or something instead of yeah, like, like a cake donut. Kind of so anyway, our provisioning run is over, and we're going to go on to um, Rodanthe now as the next stop. And we're looking forward to that because we're going to spend several days there and hopefully get to go play on the water a little bit. But now we have a little bit of a drive. checked in and uh, set up at Rodanthe Water Sports and Campground. It's right on the water. Over my head you can see we're sitting right on the edge of the water. It's a really small little campground. Our neighbors are very very close to us and you know there's not a lot of amenities. We have water and electric but there's no dump station here. I think this just used to be a parking lot and they decided it'd be a really good place for a cool little campground. And they didn't have a way of running sewer. That's okay. We can make it for the three nights we'll be here. Well, that's sad. We rode our bikes over to the beaches at Rodanthe and walking on the beach, and the first thing we see is a big shark that has died and washed ashore. We were just talking that in Myrtle Beach or some of the beaches we go to in Florida, you just wouldn't see that. But these beaches are so remote that things just happen. And it's a natural thing that it's happening. It's just that usually people would interfere and get that off of the beach. dinner tonight in the instant pot pork underneath a couple of sweet potatoes beer. made by a sweet lady We're getting ready to take Maggie for a little walk to do her little puppy business. But I gotta tell you, there's something really sweet about waking up, looking outside your camper, 
and seeing this kind of view of all the kite surfers out there. It is just phenomenal. What a place the Outer Banks of North Carolina is. One of our neighbors at the campground yesterday told us about a graveyard close to here that has slaves buried in it that fleed from slavery to the Outer Banks. And actually the Coast Guard put them to work as people that would go out and save folks that were, uh, well, drowning out in the waters here. So we came over today to look at this graveyard and just to see what it is and to pay homage to people that, even though they've been done wrong, gave their lives to uh, do what was right. My kind of hero. Those of you who know me know that I don't see skin color or your origin of where you were born. That's never something that, that's meant anything to me. What means the most to me is what kind of person you are. This graveyard has men and women who were slaves and came as far as they could to get away from that to a little island on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. But while they're here, instead of just hiding, they worked to save others who were being threatened by the sea. And many lost their lives while doing that, and some of those are buried here. It just goes to show that even when you're dealt lemons, you can still react in a way that makes things positive for others, you know. You can't control your circumstances, but you can control how you react to those circumstances. One of our friends said that on one of our other posts. I think it's a wonderful thing. Lynn and I try to always be the kind of people that if we met one of these guys, they'd be honored to be part of our family. We've said this before, but living in a van and traveling around is different than being on vacation and being in a van. When you're on vacation, you feel like you need to go do something all the time. You need to make the most of every single minute. And while Lynn and I really want to make the most of every place we stop, some days because, well, we just don't feel good or we're tired or maybe the wind's blowing too hard or maybe we're just being lazy, which is okay, but some days... We like to just lie around in the van and try to figure out what we want to do. We've done that now. So <laughs> it's all the way up to 1.30 and now the options of what we can do are getting limited. But you know what? We're okay with that because we have tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. If you don't when you're traveling, then yeah, you need to make the most of every day. But making the most of every day and trying to get so much done sometimes can just wear you out. So for us, some days, some, some of the best days are the days where we just lie here and try to figure out what we want to do when we finally get motivated to go do something. You agree, dear? You agree, Meg? Maggie you agrees. Sleeping. She's sleeping. I think we're going to go ride our bikes over to the beach, walk there. Lynn just informed me that she wants to go to a bead store that also sells coffee that also makes sandwiches. And I think that might have just been a store where they just landed here and said, I like to make jewelry, but I got somebody will buy coffee. So let's just see if we can make enough money to live here. But we're going to go check that out. Not sure we're going to go out on the water today, but there's always tomorrow. So that's the neatest little place right there. They got a little bit of hodgepodge of everything, but we're gonna come back and get at least a cinnamon roll. So we're over here looking for stickers to put on the tool. They have a lot. So 
like Marissa from West Junk Moor Journey. I love finding bakeries that do cinnamon buns. And we found one here. Awesome, awesome stuff here. Can't wait to eat it. Tonight we're sitting out here watching the sun go down. And we have a show of like hundreds of kite surfers in front of us. It's just awesome. I can't explain to you how beautiful it is. Wonderful time we had at Rodanthe in the Outer Banks. We'll end this video with the beautiful shots of the sunset over the bay, wishing you sweet dreams, happy memories. Sky dresses up in dark blue, the horizon releases the moon, and the stars shine for me and you, and I know that our dreams will come. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Maggie says happy tales. Be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on the web, Van Trading Lifestyle. Thanks for being part of the journey.